please let me know in the comment section down below what country you are from and um, are you coming to Amsterdam and if so when let me know maybe we can you know meet each other would be fun or not depends on the situation Recently I started working in the I Amsterdam store, which is a tourist information center, kinda. Well, not kinda. Let's say that 99% of the people who go there uh, just come with questions about the city, blah, blah, blah. Let me just put this camera here for one second, because it's very annoying. Okay. Last week in the store I met uh, a man Tres días en los de Angkor. who also is active on YouTube and Instagram, etc. His own blog with the family. He texted me yesterday if I would answer some questions uh, for his channel or his podcast. Anyways, I'm going to meet him in 40 minutes from now or 30 minutes. But before that, it's time for some coffee. So it's been a while since I was on YouTube, but I'm back again. One video a week, an edited, fully edited video, and one cycle video a week, which means two videos a week. And besides that, also on Instagram, I'm there uh, on a daily basis, at least once a day, with a reel or a post. So yeah, let's get this uh, going again, the train, the train of... Um, Tigo from Amsterdam, which is me. Uh, yes, I changed the name. Ruben! So I broke my wrist, uh, which you've seen maybe in previous video. Let me just take this off. A few weeks ago, me and my wife were on holiday in Lviv, Ukraine. That's a city, a very beautiful city. Then the war in Ukraine started. And so I was really focused with those two things because my wife is from Ukraine. So my whole family-in-law, and they're living there in Lviv and also in Kiev, uh, my brother-in-law. And a lot of couch surfers and friends, uh, so many people from Ukraine uh, who I know. So it's been really uh, in my head. But um, I have to continue uh, making videos. It also brings me happiness. So, yeah. Hey. Wow, you are so... The cape with a lot of things. Huh? Yeah, a lot of things. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the bike? Uh, yeah, I, I, had, I, I was not allowed to take it here, so ah, okay. the bike is there. And uh, as I told you, the store, so the store happened. Uh, I'm working there now part-time since a few weeks, which is fun. Um, I even got recognized in the store. It was the first time someone recognized me from YouTube. I'm used to being recognized here in Amsterdam because I am a pretty tall guy and uh, with this hair, Huh? It always was like, hey, you're the dude from, from the coffee store from Station South, hey, where I was working. You're the dude from the from the newspapers when I was uh, handing out the free newspapers. Quite used to that, but now from England, from the UK. I, I wanted to say from the other side of the world, but from the other side of the sea, the North Sea. People recognize me from YouTube, which is pretty awesome. So that felt great. And then the day after, on King's Day, I was walking and... Someone also recognized me. Tico. Hey. So what's the chances of bumping into it? It's not electric. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a grandma bike. That's what it's called. And that's why you don't like to slow down for people. Yeah. No, yeah, I, I, I can't. Build the momentum. Yeah. yeah. So two days in a row. Pretty awesome. Um, yeah, what can I say? This is, yeah. I feel blessed. In the podcast, I'm talking about something positive about Amsterdam, something negative about Amsterdam, and some unknown things about Amsterdam. And these are all my personal opinions, so you might agree or disagree. If you're interested to listen to the full interview, 
Check out the links below down in the description. Ja, wij als inwoners, we zijn er eigenlijk helemaal niet mee bezig. Het zijn meer hè, de buitenstaanders en misschien soms de jongeren. De meeste mensen roken eigenlijk helemaal niet uh, hier in Amsterdam. Here's a little snippet of Ruben's Instagram. Algok Recorder. I don't know if I pronounce it right. Be sure to give them some love. Greetings from Tycho. TikTok, you have to so be quick. The eh? idea is to quick in less than a minute, one place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's it. And later, the, how the, the water goes uh, up, and that's it, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the idea. And, and in Amsterdam, we are doing the same in each place. A lot of people here are speaking English. Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. Maybe but, but 90%? But yes. Or maybe more? Yes, yeah, yes. It's because we don't, in, in Holland, we don't dub the movies. So every movie. Yeah. And when I was a kid, all the cartoons were in English. Yeah. Uh, now they do it in Dutch for the kids, but in my time it was just English, uh, Fred Flintstone, the Jetsons, English TV. Yeah. That's one of the bad things that we do in Spain. I had a friend who always made a Spanish omelet for me. Yeah? Like in the he was Spanish also, so yeah. And every Don't time I called, more. I called him, come, come to my house and make a Spanish omelet. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was, it was so good. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, we're not friends anymore, so I don't need Spanish outlets anymore. <laughs>